What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will create the opening cinematic. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so to make this opening cinematic, we are of course going to do it in our proper level, which is under Levels, Desert, okay? So let's open up our desert, and we will create a simple, uh, you know, little cinematic sequence when you start the game for the first time, okay? So later on, when we will build our save and load system, we will, you know, make sure that this cinematic will only be played right, you know, when you start a new game. Anyway, so we will basically use the level sequence and create different keyframes to move the camera, you know, around our main character and a bit of the views on the landscape and we will, you know, kind of just play it at the start. So here we are still compiling some shaders like always in Unreal, but <laughs> it's routine, I guess, already. So let's start by creating the first sequences that we will need. So for this, let's just right click in the content browser, create a new folder, call this something as sequences and let's instead of this folder create another subfolder which will be the opening cinematic just in case uh cinematic in the future we want you know to create more uh, sequences and you can have everything more organized all right so we wanted to start with our opening cinematic so first of all i want to start this where you know our player starts which is kind of around here right and we can see the horizon and we have a you know a dungeon here and so on so uh let's just begin by making unreal not crash there we go <laughs> and you know just create <clears throat> a new level sequence how do we do this well we can go up here into this kind of cinematic icon and we can create a level sequence now let's go ahead and locate our uh, sequences um folder that we made opening cinematic and now let's go ahead and name this first one the opening cinematic underscore shot one underscore cinematic okay because we will need different shots so this first shot is gonna be kind of this you know of the character like this right nothing crazy and as you can see a new timeline or a sequencer in this case window has opened down here and we can start to you know play around with such things so just as a proper reference what i am going to do is to go to the um characters folder go to the mannequins go to the animations get many and just drag in the idle animation okay right where the player start is okay just as a reference for me to know kind of where the character will be but of course we will delete this uh, right after all right so now what we need to do is you know create some cameras because well we need some you know cameras to move around and capture everything so for this we're gonna go into the quickly add to the plate section go to all classes and with our you know cursor over this panel you start typing our keyboard camera and now we have two options we have camera actor which is the normal camera that you would use to play around and then cinema camera actor which has you know more cinematic uh, parameters which is the one that we're gonna be using so let's drag this to our world let's kind of just position this where we want to look to our player right image okay i, I kind of like this point actually so we can start on here like this kind of zooming in okay me like this like the, oh my god okay like this and we can kind of zoom in you can see also the viewport here so first of all let's rename this to be the camera um take one okay and before take one let's also add opening cinematic so we know that you know this is the one for the opening cinematic sequence we'll also organize this in a folder later on but now to use this camera in our sequencer what we're going to do is just go and drag it inside of this kind of blank area and now boom we are piloting this camera okay so if we have this black borders that means that we are uh, piloting it so make sure to center it where you want and let's start to create the first animation so basically just pulling our camera i think that outwards will be pretty cool so we're gonna center a character kind of there okay it doesn't have to be perfect uh with the camera select okay in the sequencer, you can see that we have this camera component transform. The transform is, of course, the uh, location, rotation, and scale. So let's click 
on the 000, okay, of the timeline, a new keyframe, and we just added a keyframe here. And now if we drag the timeline, you know, to bit later on, like for example, in here, and then move our camera, you know, back until maybe here, we can now kind of just add another keyframe, make sure you're here, and boom, we can see that our camera is moving backwards with this really cool animation. So one thing that I like to do is just to select both keyframes, right click and change them from cubic auto to uh, linear. And now they just look a bit nicer. Okay, with now any curves, it just stops where it needs. So let me expand this pretty much until the end. I kind of like it to be uh, pretty, oh sorry, I also dragged the uh, first one, only the second one. Okay, there we go. I like this to, you know, be a bit longer. And, you know, think about this like a video editor, like Premiere Pro, something like that. You have played that before. Um, you know, we're just adding clips and so on. Okay, so that's done for this first one. We can just right click and uh, stop pilot this camera. And now it is time to, you know, control the second shot of our um, opening sequence. So we can close this and just go back and create another level sequence in the same folder and just name this something as uh, opening cinematic and then take two on the score sequence okay now we have the same uh, setup we just need to duplicate this camera it will automatically put the two on here that's pretty nice and then we're gonna drag this into the timeline and because we are piloting this camera we're gonna go ahead and move this so maybe we can kind of if just you know go up like this i think it will be pretty nice yeah this looks pretty cool i think like here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start like this okay so with the uh, time how do you call this time timeline cursor i guess we could say uh, on the transform at a keyframe go forwards we can move the second one around later on and just go up like this right and even a bit more and well i think like like this i think okay and add another keyframe and now boom we have this really cool shot let's select both keyframes right click uh, let's make them linear and put the second one at the end I, I like the default duration i think that it will work pretty nicely for the purpose but of course you can you know make this longer shorter whatever you prefer uh, save everything go and close this and right click and stop piloting the camera and again let's create one last shot okay which will kind of be of maybe this um kind of area here and um, you know maybe like just kind of a pan around the desert i think it can be a good idea so let's create another level sequence in this case it will be again opening cinematic underscore take three this time underscore sequence uh, i think that i saved it in the correct folder right probably and now let's just duplicate the other camera this will be take three drag it to this timeline and i'll move it around in this case i think that we can kind of do like a little pan around so maybe we can start here okay I uh, transform and then a bit later we can move around into here add another keyframe and we could potentially go and just kind of then look at here I don't know <laughs> when I replace and make sure oh yeah so make sure to first of all take your cursor out because if not you know uh, it will go back to where it was but kind of like here maybe like this uh, and then boom select everything right click I like to have them linear expand this to the end and put this more to the middle and now we can press play and see that we have this you know simple <laughs> timeline okay nothing crazy but with that said I think that we're good to go we can now use um, I mean we could create a final mm, you know sequence uh let's do that okay so right click stop let's create one last one okay so level sequence and this will be the opening cinematic take uh four this time on its course sequence and then duplicate the camera three drag it into the sequence timeline and then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of zoom in to our player character right so 
kind of like this add a transform and then later on like here add a transform select both make this linear and this time i think that this duration is good so i can just get this put it until here and then uh, also with the clip right and it will only last to here great so with that said we're good to go we can uh, just close this and stop piloting the camera but now of course we need to join all of these different sequences which are different takes together into one how do we do that we'll just go and create another level sequence and we are going to call this the opening uh, sequence underscore master underscore sequence okay uh, opening sorry not sequence but cinematic okay and then with that we're good to go and what we can do is just drag individual uh, shots or takes in this case. Okay, so the first one, <laughs> I named it shot one and then take two, but it's okay. So let's drag in shot one into the timeline. Uh, actually, this is not what we want. We want to do it from the content browser. Uh, so it will be on sequences here. Drag the shot one. Okay, boom. You can see they have this over here. Okay, which is kind of this clip. Imagine like a video editor. Then we're gonna get the second one, drag it to here, and we have this other one. And I'm gonna just put it right, mm, you know, after the other one. Then the same with this one, right? Just drag it into here. There we go. And then with the last one, or wait, this is uh, two, three. Okay, so this one, yes. Four, boom, here. And now I'm gonna expand this until the end. And now you will see that, you know, the camera will go around doing all those things. You can see the camera flying around <laughs> in the level. Um, and this is what we want, you know, and you can fuse them if you want to make transitions. But in my case, I don't want transitions. I want boom, another shot, boom, another shot, right? Make sure to set the length of this. And now with that said, we can close the sequencer. Make sure that the, the ones that right now are in the level do not have auto play selected and now you select the master sequence and select auto play and now if we go ahead and uh, press play you will see that we will see the cinematic going on there we go <laughs> okay what happened here uh, basically the a camera like okay we are piloting the the player character um, he's like on the ground. What happened? Well, probably it's because the idol has collision. So it kind of overloaded. And uh, there we go. Now we have our actual play character. You can see we have one um, sequence and we go back to our player. Why does it only do that one sequence? This is because in the master one open level sequence, uh, you can see that uh, it only has one shot. Okay. Actually, no, it has... Yeah, it only has one shot. Why? Well, this is because um, it did not save correctly. It seems like. Let me double check. Yeah, so. Uh, shot two, wait. Yes, and. Okay, yeah, so basically. Okay, so I added that on shot one instead of the sequence because I am basically stupid. So <laughs> let's go ahead and use. Um, delete this okay let me just i think ctrl z will be the best option okay yes we have the mannequin again but it's okay there we go we're gonna take those clips there right, we go we are back to normal Let's delete this one make sure to open up the master okay guys delete this one and drag in the first one which is shot one into here there we go then shot two into here then shot three and then shot four there you go set the duration which is this red thing until the end and now we're good to go okay so sorry i my mistake i did it on the shot one instead of master so make sure to have a master as out play and that's it this is the only one that we need really so now we can close the sequencer press play we have our character there playing the first shot and then we go to the second shot wow that looks pretty cool actually i did not expect this to look so cool look at the elephants there then the third shot it could be improved a bit but it was a quick thing and then the final shot going to four where we go to our 
play mode and it looks really cool now one little thing that i want to do is to get rid of that black bars and actually when you export and package the game and you put it on full screen that would not be visible but you know every time that we play the game kind of seeing those uh, black bars at the right i don't like them so let me select all the cameras and then go and disable constraint aspect ratio and now you see that when we press play boom we have full screen view <laughs> and it looks really cool look at that boom wow that that looks insane huh that looks insane so yeah there we go guys we have this cinematic build but let's quickly last thing do it and just play it from code instead of from the uh you know how to play so let's deselect how to play open the level blueprint which can be accessed through here and in the level blueprint we are gonna have a reference to this master sequence so you just right click create a reference to master sequence delete uh event tick and then say use play sequence player okay plug this here it will automatically get the sequence player component and it will play the, the 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 you know the sequence in this case the opening cinematic so if i press play you can see that it will still play like normal okay and it will go ahead do this thing but we are playing it from code from the levels blueprint instead of by that out to play check which we cannot really do anything with it right now in the desert uh, level we can actually add logic which is what we are interested on so what we can do is leave it kind of ready with a branch which will be something as you know um you know right click promote variable uh first uh, game right so we know that we only play this if this is true and this first game variable would be set to true if we know our save load system doesn't have uh, anything but true to, to false if it does and we will do that when we actually have the level uh, save and load system uh, right now it's playing even though this is set to false oh that's because it's set to true so let's set you know this to false and now you can see that it doesn't play so that's it guys if you found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out uh, remember they have full access to the private files through patreon or youtube members so link in the description check out my new course in game dev tv and how to make a stealth game in unreal join my Discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye